this the topic is mentioned in TSC uh, years ago, but many of us uh, do not know the idea behind open source, and we have a lot of newcomers. They keep asking the same question about why I come here to join this activity. Then I try to explain that here once again and hope it helps you. <coughs> so this presentation is about why you are here and how can you explain to your manager you are here for work, not for vacation. Because I keep asking by my manager or my friends, see, can you go to Las Vegas? So cool. <laughs> Right? <coughs> so if you are the manager, then I try to explain how you and your organization get benefit by joining the uh, open source activity. This is me. I joined Huawei about 20 years, and most of my career is work as a software architect for Huawei's product and the telecom product. Uh, so this is a share about open source from uh, business software architect. And I'm proud to say uh, most of my products uh, work well broadly within Huawei. Almost most of Huawei's uh, networking equipment use my uh, operating system distribution. Uh, and also I work with Linaro for about six years. I get the plane uh, last year and when I got it, uh, I leave the stage immediately. And my friends ask me, hi, Ken, why you don't you cheer on the stage? And then I told them, oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> this is normally the basic culture of China. People do not want to be focused, but they don't know why. And I try to explain to you, that's come from a very old Chinese book called Dao De Jin, and there is a statement inside. He said, fat always go to the reverse direction of its name. If you got something, yeah, Ken, you are good. That means, Ken, you are so bad. <laughs> Let's see why. Dao De Jin is a very uh, popular book in China. Almost every of them knows some of the statement. Uh, it's a little like the Bible in the best culture. But most of Chinese do not read it and they do not know what it's talking about because it's something mysterious. This is, in the title, it's his first um, statement. Uh, literally, he said, Dao can be Dao, and uh, Dao, okay, way a road can be road, and name can be name, but it's not the general road or not the general way. And you don't know what it's talking about, but his concept is simple. He said, when we see the world, we, we hit by the sensor. We, we see a lot of data of the world. But when we start to think about it, or we try to talk about it, we use a name. But name is network the fact. It's network the reality. So if you investigate the name and make it shining, the fact will be of the name. And you investigate on the fat itself, you will change the fat, and the name will not be there. So we thought we're talking about the word or we think about the word by the name, by the fat. But actually, that's just the name, it's not the fat. The fat always be of you if you really push hard on the name itself. So it's very easy to make confusion when I talk about something. I talk about the name, but you have to make sure the name point to the reality. Open source is almost the same concept here. You talk about open source, you refer to the source itself. You are not talking about open itself. So I, I, will, I will let you know why this has happened. <laughs> See, when we start to bring up a name, normally you are interested you, you, you feel interesting for a pattern. You see something, you want to talk about it, you create a name. If you are not interested in that at all, then you don't need a name. So normally, a name is a problem. People, when people see the name, they try to solve the problem, they try to turn it good or bad, or uh, higher or shorter, or 
um, longer, uh, sorry, higher or lower, and longer or shorter. They always talk about to change the name from left to right or from right to left. They try to make his uh, efforts according to that. But by Dr. Jin, he said about that, if you really want to solve the problem, the view behavior you need to do is you turn it off. Because when you make something good, it should be something bad compared to this good. So if you really solve a problem, you should turn the name off. You should, you, you should not strengthen it. You try to do it harder, like open source. You try to do open source harder. That means you fail to make your private code better or your product better. So it's not the normal way you should spend your efforts on open source. Okay, now we come back to see what its architecture design is. I do open source for, uh, uh, no, no, sorry. I do architecture design for about 15 years. And then my understanding to architecture design is to design and maintain a log logic chain to fulfill your final goal. You want to make a product good and use broadly. Then you should create a logic for the first year you have some software, and then second year you have the hardware ready, and the third year you hope your customers can adopt your solution. Then you have a lot of dependency and fat. And we try to push our engineer, uh, software engineering to make something happen. But as an architect, my work is to make sure we don't need to do everything. Because if you do everything by yourself, then you will spend all your efforts to make, make things happen. And then you will lose the trip of how to, how to achieve the goal. So normally, when I work so many years, uh, the system engineer is to make fat happen. But an uh, architect to make things do not happen, do not need to happen. So normally, most of our, my manager or my colleague, they will aware um, the, the system engineer do a lot of things. They have the name, but normally they don't aware an architect doing because we, our job is to turn the name off. Only we, when we turn the name off, we can reach the goal. So many, many said uh, in Chinese culture, people do not believe anything. But actually, they do. They believe the reality of the world. And they call that Tao, because it is a road leads you, lead you to the goal. But if you follow the goal, uh, follow the Tao, you follow the reality, then you have no name. Then that's the way to, to make successful, uh, to make things uh, happen and to change the world. So now we can explain why you do open source. You have a bunch of private source code to keep it safe. And it won't be if you cannot ensure the development direction of the ecosystem. You have a lot of very good code, but don't use it. Then how can you sell to, the, to your customer? That's the reason you join open source activity. It doesn't mean that open source is so good. It means it's the way people can join together to, to make the ecosystem work, right? And many people ask, uh, I come to Linaro, want to take some code because they have some private code key inside their repository. But no, there's no, right? If you want to take the code, you can stay at your home and then you can take it immediately. That's not the reason you come here. And you are not going to develop the code together with your competitor. You won't try hard in this uh, case. And the source code without trying hard made no sense for you to rely on. I find that a lot of projects, open source projects, and 
uh, activity failed at last because from the very beginning, people do not want to contribute anything. They want to take something. Then there is nothing there. Then how can you take it? So finally, you spend a lot of effort and you want to cheat the others and hope the others join and work hard for you and then you want to take it. You never get it, right? You think that's a clever strategy, but that's just a waste of your time. And also some people say that they, they can ask Leonardo to do something for them. I don't believe that. Because you don't sign a contract with Leonardo, and then if Leonardo delay for you, you can't do anything. If you want to do that, then just pay an outsourcing team and you can get it immediately. And if they don't get it on time, then you can, right? There is some punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, when you come here as an individual and you are a competitor with your internal team, I, I, I always had the same problem. When I joined here, then my internal said, I can, you go to open source again. You are not belong to me. You are my competitor. And then you, you tell them, yeah, I, I go there to get some code for you. But that always wrong because they can get the code by themselves. Even the code written by you is written by you. But it's already open source, right? They can get it immediately. And then they don't need you. People need a person. Only he go in to need you. It's, if they already get benefit from you, they don't need, need you anymore. You become a burden of him, right? You, 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 you get some code from outside and get, give it to them, and then they, they, they already get it. They own you. They need to pay back in the future. So they, they won't like you anymore. Only when they need you to take the code once again, they will like you, right? And this is another question normally people will ask me. I work for telecom industry for a long time, and the normal way in telecom industry is join the, open, uh, join the standard organization. The standard organization way is we send a team to standard organization, we persuade, they adopt the solution, and then uh, we get some pattern from uh, the pattern bureau, and then we start to implement that uh, pattern then that's, that's done. So in most of the cases, people just write down, you need to do it this way. That's all. But today, most of the standard organization become an open source community. Why? Because from the beginning, the code is driven by requirements. You have several functions, and then you create a framework to connect all these functions together. But after you have that base of the code, then you start to driven by the competition. It's not reasonable. People need to change the framework or the function itself everywhere. And most of the code is this kind of, in this style. So, <coughs> uh, the, the standard way is not working anymore. Uh, still, we have standard organization, but it's less and less because too complex. When I work for GSM system, uh, MSC node, we have a uh, 300K LOC, uh, 3K, uh, 300 line of code. But now if you take a look in uh, Android phone, uh, Android phone is about 10 times of the, the code. And still, when you write the code, you, you, the efficiency is the same. You cannot control it. So today, when you get the code, you cannot control any, uh, every part of the, the code base. You have to change everywhere. Then without open source community, you, you can't do anything. And once again, internal team always challenge. Even yesterday, my colleague, some of the newcomer, they asked me, hey, Ken, the open source is better. We have uh, more advantage on that. We're doing better. I said, yeah, you are doing better, but who use it, right? Nobody use it. Open source is a conclusion. 
everybody agree we should going to use it in this way. And private branch means you just do it by yourself in that way. So your, your code will be better performance, will be better quality because you fix it up. You get open source code and you add a lot of proprietary solution and and you make it fixed, you make it stable, you test it for five years, oh, sorry, uh, maybe five months and release to the market. Yeah, it will be better quality and better function, but people do not agree with that. Open source means people already agree with that, then that's why, why it can stay for long. Normally, we will have, a, 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 my experience, I have an architecture branch, no matter inside or outside. And then I put the long-term strategy there. And then internally, when I sell to the market, I have my branch. But that branch, I can last for maybe five years or six years. That's all. It should be end. And then you should take another new release from the architecture branch. So I can save most of my time. I don't need to push more. Uh, many of my code again to the new solution. And then I, I, I made most of my engineer free with no name, right? I give an example how we design the ex external uh, strategy for open source. This is uh, uh, ERP. Uh, from the beginning, when we bring up the, uh, the idea of ERP, People think, oh, we are going to make another distribution. Actually, if you take a look to this picture, it's a distribution. But if we do a distribution, we become a competitor with the other business distribution provider. And then they will leave the ecosystem. Then why bother? If I want to create another competitor, it's easy. I create another company, and then I directly sell to the market. That's all. Why I bother to spend so many resources and bring some, so many person and try to persuade them and then create a distribution? That's not the sense. So this is, is the real strategy of ERP. In Dao De Jing, again, there is a methodology. It said, Sun Yan is, uh, sorry, okay, it's all Chinese. Um, he talked about we should do something with no harm and we try to give benefit with no name. Because when you give a name, uh, you, you bring the name, people own you. When they own you, they hate you. <laughs> you. You don't want to say that, right? But actually, that's the way. So what we try to do is we doesn't compete with the ecosystem. We are not going to create another competitor in the ecosystem. It's not a long-term support version. A distribution is a long-term support version. So it's not going to long-term support. I upgrade the version uh, every uh, half year. Uh, we try to make it uh, four, uh, uh, ha half, uh, sorry, half years. We try to make it uh, six months. So it will be upgraded very fast. So it's not going to be a distribution. So it's not going to compete with any distribution. And it's not a landing project for SOC. It doesn't mean I'm going to support your SOC. It means if uh, I release a new release, I hope your internal SOC team join and then enable that. So uh, they still need to do something. They need to do something. They are valuable. So they will like to join it. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. So if I do that, no matter they're happy or not happy, they will try to avoid to join. Because if I do, do uh, open source do the same and SOC enable team do the same, they will compete again. No matter they want to or they, they don't want to. So for ERP, it's not going to compete with the ecosystem. And, but you have to give benefit to the ecosystem. So we try to make that happen. Uh, the strategy is we, it is the only version that can support the latest feature and the latest uh, Linux kernel for ARM server hardware. 
You can, you can buy a uh, distribution, but normally that's a com commercial uh, distribution and he will support maybe one year or two years uh, goes technology. But you, if you want to do something new, then he gives you the benefit. And any new feature can be merged into a next ERP version, but we are not keep this today. If you cannot hold it, Suppose an uh, uh, SOC provider or a uh, uh, Linux distribution provider, they want to persuade people to use that uh, solution. Then they should try hard to make, make, that, hap make that happen. And people can get uh, benefit from that. But if Linaro do it by themselves, then people will leave. This is the trick of open source. You do more, people will leave. But open source is way is to let people join. It's not do it by yourself. I remember last year, uh, Jonathan uh, from LWN.net, he said uh, a maintainer of, Lina, uh, of open source community is to create a weapon. He doesn't try to do something for the others. He try to do something people will like to join you to provide their effort. So it's valuable to join the community. It's not you provide something good to the others, so they will join the community. And I also try work hard to make all the narrow uh, common feature will be developed and verified only on ERP. So it's also valuable for you to, to join and then to persuade the others to adopt your solution. So finally, you can compatible with the ecosystem, with the others. And if you do everything by your own, then you don't need to join because that's your private strength. People, you have no need for the other to help you, right? So think about that. Many of our open source activity is a waste of time. If you don't need people to join your ecosystem, you don't need to go open source. So this is the conclusion. Again, I'm sorry. It's a, a, a statement from the uh, uh, it means um, the best king, because Dr. Jin is a book written to the king. Uh, the king do not uh, selfish, selfish, so he get his selfish. It, it's, again, it's not easy to understand, but the way is this. When we work with the um, open source community by helping it, because we help it, we are compatible with it. Because it's compatible with you, so it belongs to you. Right? You have a room, and in, inside the room, everything, you, have, you feel comfortable. So the room be, belongs to you. You have a room, have a lot of expensive things, but you, you don't use it. Then the room is not belong to you. So if you take it without contribute to the ecosystem, then it becomes your burden. It's never belong to you. So please enjoy the feast of open source activity and by contribute your efforts. And it will belong to you and belong to us. Thank you. <laughs>